everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're doing well today. So today I'd like to discuss with you how you can compete as a retailer with Dollar General. If you're familiar with Dollar General, you know what an amazing selection of merchandise that they have and pretty good prices. And if you're not familiar with Dollar General, basically what they are, they're a national retailer here in the United States and they specialize in selling merchandise at a discount price. Now the merchandise can be over a dollar, but it's going to be, you know, a really, it's going to be sold at a really good discount to its original retail price. Now, they do have stuff that is brand name, but overall it's going to be, I would say, more um, either generic merchandise or even if it's brand name merchandise, it's going to be more of commodity items such as toothpaste, uh, hand soap, shampoos, we have some food items. Now, here's one of the things about Dollar General. Since they are a national chain, whatever they buy, they're going to buy for all their stores. So they, there's some great closeout deals out there, and they can definitely take advantage of them. I mean, as if you're a retailer who has one or two locations, you're going to have a hard time competing to buy a closeout that they want to buy. But here's the thing. If there's a closeout, and let's say that closeout has 200 units, and let's say there's 200 alarm clocks. Let's say it's a licensed alarm, a Star Wars alarm clock, and it's really nice, but there's only 200 units available. Dollar General is not going to buy it because they want to stock it for all their stores. But if you have a store and you're, let's say, located five miles away from Dollar General, and you, you can buy that clothes out, and now you'll have something unique that Dollar General doesn't have. Another thing you can do is you can do, you know, promotions, and you can actually, you can do promotions that they can't do. What do I mean by that? Their promotions have to be approved by the managers and by the division, regional manager, you know, I'm not so familiar with the corporate structure, but you can't make decisions that quickly. What you can do is, let's say you see that there is a baseball game that's going to take place a week from now, and everyone's excited about the baseball game. So what you could do is you could look for merchandise and give people free merchandise that's related to that baseball game just for coming to your store or just for making a purchase. In other words, you can make promotions react really quickly. Now, another thing you can do as a retailer, which I recommend that you do, is Always have the full original retail price of the items. The last time I went to Dollar General, I didn't see that. I didn't see them displaying the full retail price. Now, they might have, and I might have overlooked it, but even so, you should have that original retail price for all your items. And here's what you can do that Dollar General cannot do on a store level. When a customer comes to your store, if you see them looking at items, and they haven't yet bought those items, be proactive, offer them an extra discount. Another thing you should do is, when they're at the checkout and they're leaving, ask them, oh, are there any items that you were considering that you left behind? And then they'll say, oh, yeah, you know what I was thinking about buying? Um, that old Star Wars alarm clock, you know, I think it's really nice. I think my grandchildren could have used it, but I wasn't sure about it. So you say, you know what, I'm selling it for $15. Let me give it to you for $12. You give them a few dollars off, they'll be happy to buy it. So the key is, as an individual retailer, you're going to be able. You're going to be like a special force soldier. You're going to be able to make you know decisions quickly. You're going to be able to respond to situations quickly. You're going to be able to take advantage of opportunities. Dollar General is like an entire army, right? Where there's different levels of, of management. There's officers, and you know, there's the generals and the commanders. And but you're going to be able to be you know you're your own soldier, your own officer, your own commander. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closeatexplosion.com. Thanks for New York. You're welcome to visit my warehouse. Thank you. Have a great day.